I can't believe I spent $190 at Trader Joe's today. And the thing is, you're gonna say, did you buy all the pumpkin things? And it's like, the answer is no, I bought all of that in last week's haul. So be sure to check that out because that is pumpkin spice, maple, anything fall, that's in last week's haul. This haul is like, my sugar intake last week was through the roof, so I was trying to balance it out a little bit healthier items. Um, and I still grabbed the new items too, so we got new items to sample and review. We're gonna jump into this. Um, I'm Natasha with Natasha's List, so please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you are already not subscribed. That helps me out a ton. And then we're gonna jump in. I'm just so excited, also very hungry. First things first, I did say healthy, but cheese is healthy, right? We need to sample the cheese. Oh geez, let me move this over. Yeah, $190 this week. That, I honestly, I wasn't expecting that, but what happened was they had new items that fell in line with my intentions for the shopping haul. Um, so, you know, you just have to go with it when Trader Joe's does that. Baked sheep's milk ricotta cheese. This is brand new and I would love to sample that for you. Just need a little knife. I have to show you this cutting board, first of all. Um, isn't this the greatest thing you've ever seen? This was, I think, my grandpa's, and then I, or my grandma's. Then it ended up at my mom's, and then it ended up with my sister, and then I found it there last time I was home, and they didn't mind if I took it, so I took it. But I absolutely love it. Okay, we're just trying to get this open. Can I just talk to you guys about ants quickly? I have seen more ants this year in like the strangest places. The strangest one, which you guys know the story, was I found an ant, well Simon found the ant in his ear. He was sleeping and he woke up because there was an ant in his ear. But like, there's not like a lot of ants, there's just one ant. And like, I got, I had to take my car to get it serviced and then I'm in the car, you know, I got it serviced and I'm driving and there's like an ant on the like dashboard of the car inside but there's just not a lot. It's just like one-off ants everywhere. I don't know if they're blowing around in the wind and la like landing on things. Okay, baked sheep milk ricotta cheese. Let's see, is there something special in this? It has herb de Provence, so rosemary, oregano, savory, thyme, basil. That sounds delicious. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm doing this right. Ooh, that looks good. Here we go, I'll show it to you. Mm. Mmm. And it's baked. How would you eat this? Baked sheep's milk ricotta. Um, because we're on the subject of cheese, this is a brand new truffle glaze. Have you seen this floating on the internet? It's a truffle glaze, it's brand new. And I wanna try it on the cheese. Also, that cheese is really good. I've never had, I don't think I've ever had baked sheep's milk ricotta. I like that it's sheep's milk because I find that like cow's milk, whenever I, I like, I love cheese, but like cow's milk, I can always tell my skin like gets a bit agitated. All of these things today are really testing my patience, opening them. Okay, let's, we got this open. Okay. Oh well. The second I open the cap, like wafted with truffle. Let's see. This would be really good like a mozzarella caprese. Oh wow, well. that is amazing. It's a little sweet. It's cooked grape must, balsamic vinegar. Also, grape must is just a funny word, grape must. Balsamic vinegar, modena, um, modified cornstarch, caramel color, black truffle powder, natural flavor, gum gum. That's really good, I'm gonna revisit that right here. So yummy. Truffle glaze, mmm. That would be good on pretty much anything because it's a little sweet. One tablespoon has nine grams of sugar, four of which are added. So, wow, that combination works so well. Zucchini. This week I picked, I picked up more salads than usual. The reason being, they're just convenient. And sometimes I will make not as healthy choices because of the convenience of something, but if a salad is conveniently in the fridge, I will grab that. And then I also grabbed a couple for Simon to take to work. This is an organic kale chicken Caesar salad. Oh, I see, I didn't realize it was a kale chicken Caesar salad. 
So hopefully he likes those because he can take those to work. They looked good. There's also two new salads at Trader Joe's today. Um, one of them I did purchase. It's this one, the green goddess salad with blackened chicken thigh meat and crispy rice with a green goddess ranch dressing. This one's new. And then they also have like a salmon miso sesame salad, which I didn't, I didn't end up getting because the salmon comes in like this little cup. And when I was like reading it, the cup was like leaking the juices into the salad. So there might be some quality issues they want to check out on that one. But this one looks really good. Um, so I'm excited to try that. This might be like lunch as soon as I'm done filming. I picked up the Rainbow Trout Filets. These things, you guys, I'm addicted to them. And it's honestly one of the best deals. $7.76 for this one has three big pieces of trout. Reasons why I like trout. It's a mild fishy flavor. It takes literally 10 minutes to thaw this. You can just like, I'll put it in a Ziploc baggie in like a pot of water and just like, it'll, it'll defrost at room temp. Um, but then one filet has 28 grams of protein. So you get your omegas. So good. And, and those are like, they're so delicious. I've been making with olive oil and a little bit of um, green goddess seasoning. Delicious, delicious. Um, I picked up some ra raspberries. I haven't bought any in a while, but they were speaking to me at this Trader Joe's. They just looked big and I was like, mm, mm. There's a Trader Joe's by me that's relatively new. It's just an infant, it's 20 months old. And it's still picking up. It's gonna end up being a really high volume store. Um, but it's like, no one really goes there. So I'll go in there and it's fully stocked and they do such a good job of stocking it. Get whatever I want. I picked up some eggs for Simon. This was a fun find. I wanted like, I needed some more Parmesan cheese and you know, they cut it and it's, it's priced per weight. So this is the Parmesan Reggiano Chauvencio cheese. It's aged three years with raw milk. But this was like the biggest block I could find. And you have to be careful when you look for these, make sure you like, you, unless you're gonna be making a lot of risottos or something we're gonna use the rind, you don't necessarily wanna pay for too much rind. But this was a good one. So it was just small rind to actual cheese ratio. So I was really, really proud of myself for this one. And it cost $11.69. You can never have too much Parmesan cheese in your life. Um, this organic minestrone soup. So for me, September is soup timber. I just love soups. I love making soups and I'm about to get into that, not this week, but like lately I've been like thinking about like buying um, the celery onion mixture. What is it called? Mirepoix? Anyways, that, and then I was thinking about the sausage soup I made last year and how good that was. But anyways, this is such a great, easy grab and go, heat it up in a couple of minutes on the stove and it's just delicious. It's, um, let's see, four grams of protein times two and a half. So that's eight, 10 grams of protein, just a little bit of sodium, 630 milligrams per serving. And there's two and a half servings of 630 milligrams, but it's really, really good. I love sodium. I have quite a bit all the time. Um, so you have, to, you have to figure out what's good for you and you can always dilute it with a little bit of water if it's too much. Um, sweet potatoes because it is, it is fall and I need to get back on eating my little pot sweet potato bits. I just peel them, chop them up thin, toss them a little av avocado oil and then some seasoned salt and then I air fry it for like 12 minutes and they're absolutely delicious. Um, <clears throat> Yellow lentil brown rice pasta, and this is one of my favorite pastas from Trader Joe's. A, it tastes good. Um, B, it's protein packed, 14 grams of protein per serving. And that pasta will be married with that Parmesan cheese. Gluten-free pumpkin spice bagels are back. These are literally one of my favorite, favorite items that Trader Joe's has during pumpkin spice season, pumpkin palooza. I'm just gonna break a little piece off. For a gluten-free bagel, they're so good. Mm. Like most things gluten-free, I always recommend toasting it. Like, it's just better with a little bit of heat, but these are still really nice. They're super delicious. I've been looking forward to that all, all, all pumpkin spice season. Hold on. I just feel like, I'm doing myself a disservice if I have the pumpkin spice bagel without the pumpkin spice cream cheese. So we're just gonna do a solid for me right now. 
and I'm gonna take a bite. Isn't it just like funny how nice the employees are at Trader Joe's? They're so nice. I had like two wonderful conversations with them today and I'm like, how are you guys all so nice? Every single one of you, whoever hires or whatever their pamphlet is, what to look for in an employee, they have the nicest employees. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh. That combination is insanely delicious. When I think about pumpkin spice season, that is my favorite right there. Back to the healthy things. I picked up more of these um, Acerola Cherry Shops. I am on a kick with these right now. We went to Trader Joe's yesterday, get stuff for dinner. And these things, I am addicted. So they've got a 1,000, 10% of your daily vitamin, vitamin C. Um, and it's cold pressed, but they taste so good. And vitamin C is an antioxidant, so you can really never have too much of it. Mm. I want this in a big jug. Is anyone at Trader Joe's listening? Can you please get these in a big jug? But I was sad I couldn't find celery juice today. I did want celery juice. So there's just something about this is good. And it's just pure acerola cherry juice. 12 cherries are in here. Mm. Which Simon and I kind of mapped it out. We're like, okay, so like one cherry. Like acerola cherries are so vitamin C rich. One cherry has enough for like almost 100% of your daily value. Baby beets. I hope this isn't one of those items that I buy and it just lives in the fridge for a year. But I'm convinced I'm gonna use it. Just chop it up. I'm, I wanna make like a big healthy bowl with sweet potatoes and beets, a little bit of cauliflower rice. We made a really, really good cilantro lime cauliflower rice last night. One of my favorite things to do. It's super simple. Like one to two tablespoons of olive oil in a pan, dump this bag in there, cook it for like eight minutes, taste, taste the rice to see if it's um, the al dente that you like, the consistency, some people like a little firmer, some people like it softer. Salt it, squeeze in half a lemon, no sorry, half a lime, squeeze in half a lime, and then a bunch of cilantro, toss it all together, serve, it takes like 10 minutes. It's delicious and it's healthy. Organic baby broccoli, I'm gonna figure out how to use that this week. Mm, more figs, I did buy more figs because it is fig season, but they don't have the tiger figs, which are my favorite. But I did make those chocolate covered figs the other day and those were insane. And then I crushed up the dried figs and put it on top of the chocolate that it were dipped in. Um, I do wanna try it with these figs. Let me give this one a bite. I'm just gonna rinse it off. I just, the thing with these figs is they're all like perfectly ripe. So in order for me to eat these all in time, like it's just so hard to eat these. But that's why if I make them and I like dip them in chocolate and then put them in the refrigerator, it's generally okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, look how good that one is. So good. Figs looks like they're, like they're honestly, they look like they're from a different planet. Like, if space travel was possible and I went to a different planet and they offered this to me, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. Figs are just so out of this world. Mm. And they're just good. These are a product of the USA. Okay. Fig and delicious. Radishes, these are great for salads. And radishes, they last forever in the fridge, so I appreciate that. Um, these king oyster mushrooms, what I've been doing with these is I cut them like scallops. So you take it out and you just cut the base like this, 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 and you cut the top however you want it. And then there's this new boat sauce, the Co boat sauce. It's this Vietnamese simmer sauce. Simmer your mushrooms in this sauce is like a side dish. Whoa, you will like not regret that combination at all. I didn't even know what this Co sauce was until it was at Trader Joe's and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that a try. It was so good. Cauliflower, I'm really proud of the amount of veggies and fruits I got in this fall. Just need to see that. I, <laughs> because I talked about like convenience and making healthy choices, this, this is a microwavable bag, which probably still lots of nanoparticles of plastic will get in me if I do it this way, but 
it's easy. You could just like cut it, throw it in the microwave, put it in a bowl, top it with whatever, salt, pepper, a little olive oil, Parmesan cheese, you name it, it's good. Um, but I love that this is a microwavable bag. It's probably, I'm probably at this point in my life, I wonder how much plastic is in me making those kind of decisions and like plastic water bottles. Okay, Persian cucumbers, I picked these up. This is like a new packaging, so it's like cardboard and then they did this so it's like less plastic. So I think it used to be like a plastic bottom, so they are making better decisions. And so as you guys may or may not know, Trader Joe's sources all of their items from different vendors. So even if it says Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's most likely isn't the one making the product. It's a different vendor. So they have to push like the sustainability efforts on their vendors and their vendors have to make those choices. And it, it's a lot It's a lot of decisions they have to make and it takes time. So um, I just love when you see little progress steps being made because you know they're working on it. And this bag is really cool because this bag is made from 100% recycled plastic, which I don't know if you guys know that. It says on the bottom, which I would have to dump this out for you to see it. But if you ever see this one, it's the one that has like the Finding Nemo fish on it. It's made from 100% like recycled plastic out of the ocean. Maple almonds. Something smells like truffle. Oh, it's because that's still open. Okay. Maple almonds. These are back. These are really, really good. What I could do. Mmm. Those are so good. These like belong in a little wooden bowl on the counter that I can just walk by and sneak one or three. Mm. What I was thinking was crushing them up and then using like once I dip the figs in chocolate, put this on the end of it. Mm. So good. I, I love, I think I'm, well, my favorite pumpkin spice item is the, the bagel with the pumpkin cream cheese, but I love maple flavors, like maple syrup, yummy. And I like that it comes from a tree, something about that. I picked up the organic vodka sauce, this is a winner, it's so good, my sister's the one that turned me on to that, I love it. I saw someone post um, that they love the chili onion, crun crunchy chili onion hummus, so I did pick that up. So when I was talking about making like a really healthy bowl, a scoop of hummus would be good in it. I ordered deodorant online. Um, it has this one deodorant from Shark Tank and I'm spacing on the name, but I tried it and I loved it. And then I ordered like a three pack and I'm waiting for it to get here, but I'm all out. So I picked up the Tom's Unscented. I've never used it. Hopefully it's good. It's aluminum free, which is similar to the um, Shark Tank one, but we'll see. We'll see how this stacks up. Okay, I picked up some bars, I like those, and then because, you know, I got the trout, this is my, like, meal that I like to make, the jap choy, with the trout. This, these are sweet potato glass noodles, so really healthy choice, 380 calories per, oh, there's two servings, so I never realized that, huh. So there's 600, oh gosh, I don't want to, 80, 80, 160, 760 calories per one of these, which is, that's wild. I never realized that. Hmm. I always thought it was 380, but they're really, really good. I love this. Um, I usually like will house and by house, I mean like eat the whole thing. One of these and one of those trouts, such a good dinner. Pick those up. And the nights I make that, Simon always wants um, veggie pad thai. So I got him two veggie pad thais, which these are also really, really good. And I've tried them. I just, yeah, so like this is one package, it's 400 calories. I don't know guys, one of them's off. One of them's off, I'm gonna go revisit past videos. I love these mangoes, these are the organic dried Atulfo mango slices. So these are the yellow, I mean it's on, on the package, but there's like green mangoes and yellow mangoes. And the Atulfo mangoes are like my absolute favorite mangoes. They're also known as like champagne mangoes. Let's see. Now mangoes are, are, they do have a lot of sugar. It's naturally occurring in it, but with dry fruit, always be aware and mindful of the amount of sugar if that's something you, you're into. I will take these when I go ride my bike because it's just a great source of energy. Mm. 
Why are they so good? They are chewy though, so now I have to finish chewing. White miso paste, whenever I see this, I buy it. Um, if you bought authentic miso from like a Japanese market, that's way more miso. Like it's way saltier, a little goes a long way. I feel like I have to use a lot of this to really get that miso flavor I love. But there's a really good recipe I made with like this butter, salt, pepper, Parmesan cheese. So it's like a, a white miso cacio pepe, almost super simple to make, really, really tasty. I don't know if I posted the recipe. I may have posted it in like a real year ago. I'll have to dig that up. Cilantro. Mm. Marinated artichoke hearts. These are just great. I put these in the fridge um, next to all my chocolate. That way when I go to eat chocolate, I'll think maybe, maybe an artichoke. And sometimes I, I skip over the artichokes and I go straight to the chocolate. But sometimes, my uh, tactics work and I'll, I'll go for the marinated artichokes. Cause sometimes I just get snacky. I'm not even hungry, I just want a snack. And then I got the rainbow trout. It, again, just high quality protein, 14 grams per two ounces. So I'll use this, like how I bought that Greek salad, I would put some of this on it. It is really salty, again, I love salt. Um, so just keep that in mind if that's something you watch. Um, absolutely delicious. This stuff's so good. I just like the label is old school but kind of endearing and charming. Oh good, this is empty, now I can show you the bottom. So this bag is made entirely from recycled plastic collected from marine and coastal environments. Isn't that cool? I love these bags. One of the crew members pointed that out to me and she's like, oh, I wish we'd get these back in stock and now they're back in stock. So if you see them, get one. And that's it, that was like $190. So I, did I talk to you guys, I got the detergent. I always skip over these, toilet paper, Necessary. I always buy two ply. I don't even know why why one ply is in existence, but someone likes it. Who honestly goes? I'll just take the one ply. Who does that? I I don't know. Two ply is like where it's at. Okay, and then liquid laundry detergent. I love this stuff. Um, it's just really heavy and in a big jug. So when I have my days where I like do my scooting, it's too too hard to get that on the scooter. But I have the car today. Oh. This is it. I'm sorry I keep eating this mango. It's just so good. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite item is in this week's haul. Um, and if you missed my pumpkin palooza haul, that went up last week. You can find it on YouTube and on Instagram. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that because that helps me out so much with tapping that subscribe button. Thank you so much. It makes everything I do worthwhile. But I will see you guys next week and thanks for checking this out. Bye.